यार इस वेरी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक इन्वेंशन यस ए क्रोड ऑफ आइसिस सेडिमेंट फ्रॉम नॉर्दर्न ग्रीनलैंड हैज कंटेंट द वर्ल्ड्स ओल्डेस्ट सीक्वेंसेस ऑफ डीएनए द 2 मिलियन ईयर ओल्ड डीएनए सैंपल्स रिवील्ड द नाउ लार्जली लाइपलेस पोलर रीजन वाज वंस होम टू रिच प्लांट एंड एनिमल लाइफ इंक्लूडिंग एलिफेंट लाइक मैमल्स नोन एज मैस्टोडोंट्स रेनडियर हर्डिस लैविंग्स गीस ब्रिस्ट्रीज एंड पॉपुलर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यू रिसर्च पब्लिश्ड इन द जर्नल नेचर ऑफ ऑनोनिस्टी द मिक्स ऑफ टेंपरेचर एंड द मिक्स ऑफ टेंपरेट एंड आर्कटिक ट्रीज एंड एनिमल्स सजेस्टेड ए प्रीवियसली अननोन टाइप ऑफ इकोसिस्टम दैट हैज नो मॉडर्न इक्विवेलेंट वन दैट कुड एक्ट एज अ जेनेटिक रोड मैप ऑफ हाउ डिफरेंट स्पीशीज माइट एडेप्ट टू ए वार्मर क्लाइमेट द रिसर्चर्स फाउंड The finding is the work of scientists in Denmark who were able to detect and retrieve environmental DNA genetic material set into the environment by all living organism in tiny amounts of sediment taken from the Copenhagen formation in the mouth of a fjord in the Arctic Ocean in Greenland's northernmost point during a 2006 expedition expedition where Greenland is an autonomous country within Denmark they then compared the dna fragments with existing libraries of dna collected from both extinct and living animals plants and microorganisms the genetic material revealed dozens of other plants and creatures that had not been previously detected at the site based on what's known from fossils and pollen records the first thing that blew our mind when we are looking at this data is obviously this mastodon and the presence of it that far north which is quite far north of what we knew as its natural range say study cotter michael pedersen and assistant professor at the university of copenhagen's lundberg foundation geogenetics center at a news in canberra it surpasses the previous records for the world's oldest dna yet by research published last year on genetic material extracted from the tooth of a mammoth that roam the siberian steppe more than a million years ago as well as the previous record for dna from from sediment while dna from animal bones or teeth can sit light on an individual species and environmental dna enabled scientists to build a picture of a whole ecosystem said professor sk also of a fellow of st john's college at the university of cambridge and director of the lundfrog foundation geogenetics center in this cases the ecological community research Charts reconstructed existed when temperatures would have between 10 to 17 degrees Celsius warmer than Greenland's is today. Only a few planted animals fossils have been found in the region. It was super exciting when we recovered the DNA to see that very very different ecosystem. People had known from macro fossils that there had been trees, some kind of forest of the year, but the DNA allowed us to identify many for many more taxa types of living organism. Said. Will Russell, who led the research, researchers were surprised, surprised to find that cedars similar to those found in British Columbia today would have once grown in the Arctic alongside species like larch, which now grow in the northmost reaches of the planet. They found no DNA from carnivorous, but believe predators such as bears, wolves, or even saber-toothed tigers must have been present in the ecosystem. Lob Dalit a professor at the Center for Paleoecogenetics at Stockholm University who worked on the mammoth tooth DNA research but was not involved in this study said ground breaking finding really the envelope for the field of ancient DNA this is truly amazing paper he said via email it can tell us about the composition of ecosystem at different points in time also the findings that several temperature species such as relative of sparse and mastodon lived at such high latitudes are exceptionally interesting he added will sir said the 16 year study was the longest project of its kind here and most of his teams of researchers had been involved in extracting the fragment of genetic code from the sediment took a great deal of scientific detective work and several painstaking attempts after the team established for the first time that dna was hidden in clay and quartz in the sediment and could be detected and detached from it the fact that the dna had been 
when they itself to mineral surfaces was slightly white survived for so long this is the researcher say be on the zebot positive